Hello, my name is Kmit and in this video I want to talk about the library scene which I created in Blender 2.82 and also how I create a basic scene layout in general. I created this scene for the current CG Boost library challenge and this is my second 3D challenge that I have ever done. Even though the scene was supposed to be only a cycle render, I also thought that I could render it in real time with Eevee because UpBG recently works with Blender 2.8 versions and takes advantage of the very powerful Eevee renderer, I decided to also create a very basic playable demo. But before starting I just wanted to emphasize the fact that I'm still inexperienced and everything that I know is self-taught and I know that everyone has a different approach of creating a certain 3D scene my approach is for me personally the simplest or easiest. Uh, firstly I do some very rough concept art. I know a concept art is not necessary but it can help a lot to get a basic idea of the overall size relations and also the composition. For that I simply put the image as a scene background and then I move the camera until the horizontal lines are conformed with Blender's grid or a plane that functions as a ground. Uh, in this process I try to keep the block out very low poly uh, in order to leave some room for new ideas and it also fastens the process. Moreover, uh, I put some testing point lamps in the finished blockout scene to get a basic feel of how the atmosphere should be in the final image. In the next step I create for every object from the blockout a detailed version. This process takes some time and depends on how detailed one wants to have a certain object. But in my case I decided to stay as low poly as possible because I wanted my scene to be playable in UpBGE later. Great about this part is that it is often possible to use the already created meshes from the block out as a base mesh for the high poly meshes. What must be considered is that the detailed meshes should blend very well with the other objects. So I would recommend to replace the block out step by step and not all high poly meshes at once. After replacing the block out I model all remaining assets that I also want to have in my scene for instance books, lamps and also other details. Uh, if I use the same asset more than one time inside the same scene I will recommend to link the object with RD instead of simply duplicate. Then you can duplicate your assets as much as you want and place them everywhere inside the scene as long as it stays visual appealing. As a result I have a scene that looks similar to the final clay render and everything that is needed at this point is the texturing, composition and at the end the post-processing. But of course this process is quite complicated and during the final polishing there will be much changed until one is satisfied with the final result. That's everything that I wanted to tell. Um, thank you for watching and in the next video I will do something with Godot again. I already finished the third person character and now I have to do the world building and yeah. See you in the next video. Letting go, times where you might feel